How is everybody out there? Welcome to Small Talk, a little internet show about all things small and miniatures that we love. Welcome. I'm so happy you're tuning in from wherever you are tuning in from. Um, thank you again. So uh, this is our launch show. Um, and I just want to introduce myself. I'm Darren and I am the proprietor of D. Thomas Fine Miniatures. We are located in Hastings on Hudson in the historic Hudson Valley, which is in New York, not too far away from Midtown Manhattan. We're actually only about 20 minutes from the uh, center of where it all happens huh, in the world. So from wherever you are joining us again, thank you. So I really wanted to start off with this launch show. Uh, by taking you through the taking you through the shop, um, D. Thomas Fine Miniatures is actually a uh, an in-store uh, retail operation. We also have an online business as well, um, and there's actually three parts to this uh, this business and this concept of D. Thomas Fine Miniatures, and I want to take you through that right now, um, and take you through the shop and show you the three parts to this concept. Um, first of all, just bear with us. This is our inaugural show, so there's lots of sort of technology things that we have to manage, like, <laughs> like making sure the mic is attached here. But first of all, I wanted to actually take you through the store. Like I said, th this is a retail operation, so we are in the business of selling fine miniatures. And miniatures are anything that is a small representation of something large. So here is the retail side of the shop. And we carry fine miniatures uh, from artists who make them from all over the world. And I'm gonna take you a little bit through what fine miniatures are in a bit. But um, if you take a, 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 a walk here with me here, I will uh, show you not, a, not only the retail side, but we also have a gallery. And the concept with D. Thomas Fine Miniatures is really all about encouraging folks to see miniatures in a completely different way. And so you might be a hobbyist, you might be a collector, you might be an enthusiast. So no, where, no matter where you play within this category of miniatures, um, you can find it here at D. Thomas Fine Miniatures. So this is actually a representation of our gallery cabinet. We actually have a, an artist out of Chicago. His name is uh, Michael Yurkovic. And he is a miniaturist who works in mid-century modern design. So you can see some of the actual beautiful, beautiful work. Um, he's inspired by uh, designers like Charles Eames um, and a whole bunch of those really great masters of, of design from the back in the 50s. And, and Michael Yurkovic is an amazing artist. And we're really happy to have him represented here in, um, in our gallery here at D. Thomas Fine Miniatures. And if you wouldn't mind folks out there right now, just letting know, us know that you can hear this broadcast and that um, you're reading it. So I'm not sure I see any, any f flags or not flags. Anyway, and then finally, uh, we have a workshop area. In D. Thomas Fine Miniatures, we invite artists to come in and teach the art of making miniatures. So we do different categories here. We teach flower making, we teach sculpting, we teach um, miniature making in all forms. And this is also the DIY space. So again, going back to depending on who you are and where you play in this world of miniatures, whether you're a hobbyist, whether you like to make miniatures, whether you like to just acquire miniatures, the idea here is, uh, is to inspire you to incorporate miniatures into your life no matter how you, you, you want to do that. So with that, I want to introduce JJ Kennedy, who's a friend of mine, and she's here with us. I'm going to turn this around and say hello and let her go set up behind the desk there. Sorry about the shaking, guys. <laughs> so JJ is with us today. We're so happy she's our guest here, and she's joined us to talk about miniatures, and she's joined us to talk about what inspires her to to um, to participate in the world of miniatures, Shh, right? Do you want to say hello? <laughs> well, we hope you can hear. So again, back to technology. We want to make sure this is working again. So um, I actually want to just go back and make sure again that you guys can hear us. Um, so if you are hearing us, give us a little like. 
We did get a few people who heard us, which Excellent. is good. We're glad the sound is working. Excellent. Oh, I see a comment. Sound is good. Thank you very much. <laughs> and we appreciate that. All right. So what we want to do is really talk a little bit about miniatures, specifically around the miniatures that have inspired our own J.J. Kennedy. And she's actually brought some miniatures with us. Well, Darren, I've always loved miniatures. I started as a little kid loving miniatures. And then one day I found your shop. Mm -hmm. My world opened up. My world rocked. You rocked it. And I, I saw that there was such a, a more huge miniature world than my own little miniature world. Right. And I could do more, and, and I could get involved. And uh, we started with shadow boxes, mm -hmm. where you have this little box that you taught us how to make this little box and fill it with miniatures and make it your own little world that I'm just enraptured by it, including lighting with it as well. Yeah. There's so much that can be done, and it doesn't have to be all on an expansive say, uh, scale. Mm -hmm. It, it is miniatures. It is miniatures, <laughs> but you know, you tend to want to fill up an entire dollhouse with all kinds of great things. Right. But it's little by little. So you brought a whole bunch of your treasures that, that have inspired you to come here. Tell us a little bit about some of these items. Okay, I will. Ever since I was a little girl, I loved the Barbie concept, which started me, I guess, into miniatures, because she always came with miniatures. Right. And for right. instance, little books. And I know you've got books. You've got bookshelves, and you have little books, and right. that are so much more impressive than these. But these were what got me started. These little books that came with Barbie, and it's kind of funny because one of them is like, "This is just a product of the era. How to lose weight." I wonder what they would be <laughs> saying about that in today's world, right. you know, especially now that Barbie is um, in different sizes and right. shapes. Right. Okay. But Barbie always had these cool little miniatures that came. And I love the little eyeglasses and a little water bottle from when Barbie was a nurse. And the pocketbook, which you have wonderful that. examples <laughs> of pocketbooks. I mean, really fine artistry. And there are, I guess, artisans who just work on these things with leather. And exactly. And that's one of the things that we want to sort of take you through today okay. on this sort of launch uh, show, okay. which is talking about fine miniatures. And we love the miniatures that you brought in to today for us to look at. And these have inspired you in so many ways. And, and that's such a great thing to hear. But we want to talk a little bit about all of the different categories within miniatures and what takes you from from what makes a fine miniature. So we're actually going to take a walk around the shop again, okay. and I'm going to point out some of the items which make up a fine miniature. And while you're going to the camera, yes. and I'll join you so I can hold the camera and you can show us, I just want to point out a little lamp and a table and a telephone. And these are the crudest of uh, miniatures, but it still can inspire us to then grow up into a miniature enthusiast, which it has done for me. So we have a little chair as well. And these are fine, but speaking of fine, <laughs> I hope you can still hear, and sorry for the disruption and the shakiness, but I'm going to hand off the um, camera to JJ, and we're going to take a walk around again, and we're going to quickly take you through, you know, some of the elements of what a fine miniature might be. And one of the examples I have is from one of my absolute favorite miniature artisans, and his name is Walter Schutter. And he works in wood, fine scale wood, making um, cabinets and furniture. And one of the things that are really what makes a fine miniature is the detail. And you can actually see, I'm not sure if we can zoom in, but this little cabinet actually has drawers that are dovetailed, which means a lot of work went into it. And then finally, one other really great detail on this piece is you have the, the drawers that are lined. So the difference between, let's say, something that might be played with versus something that might be collected are things like the fine details. So I'm going to put this back in and then take you. My gas oh, no. <laughs> because I'm still in awe of all these wonderful little pieces. One other thing I'm going to take you through this way is one of the categories, one of the other categories in miniatures is um, that really is uh, a fabulous either collector's item or something to you know, really aspire to is uh, ceramics. So this is actually a ceramic piece that is made in, in the Reiku pottery vein, 
made by an artist named John Almeida out of California. So you could see the level of fine detail that goes into making this pot, this pottery. So that's the second um, category that I wanted to share. If you take a step back and we're going to move here to another one of my favorite artisans. <laughs> They're all my favorite artisans. But these come for, out of California from an artist named Maritza Moran. And what she does is she hand paints onto silk fabric, these beautiful intricate designs, making these absolutely stunning pieces of furniture that are ultra fabulous and must have. So uh, actually, I just wanted to remind you that all of these items are available online as well as in store on our website, which is dthomasfineminiatures.com. And so what I'm gonna do for now is, is keep this short Keep it simple, keep you coming back. Um, we don't know yet what the firm schedule is, but let us know how you liked this. Um, definitely comment, because we're gonna be putting this onto YouTube and onto Facebook. Let us know what you wanna see, um, but we'll be back for more. I wanna thank JJ Kennedy for being here today for our very, very first launch um, show, Small Talk, and we will see you again in the future and soon. So I'm gonna help sign off on here, because it's never easy. Bye guys.